but this Saturday we've got a lot of really fun uh, things in store for the party for the people here at the Mid-America All Indian Museum in the backyard. Uh, the event kicks off at 1 p.m. with a rededication ceremony that will follow the same format of the original dedication ceremony back in 1974 to really commemorate this icon to our community and the gift that Black, Bo Black Bear Bozen gave to, to Wichita. Uh, the event is completely free to attend and open to the public and the celebration does include a kids zone with over 20 booths, uh, uh, free boat rides with the Wichita Wagon Masters, presentations happening throughout the day on the main stage, including uh, performances by native flautist Brandon Buffalohead, musical performances by AJ Harvey, uh, who's a native artist who's from Wichita, who is currently uh, performing on NBC's Be Season of the Voice and was a re in the recent Oscar-winning film, Killers of the Flower Moon. So we're really excited to have AJ here performing throughout the day. Uh, inside the museum, there will be free admission all day, as well as a traditional powwow taking place inside the museum. Uh, the powwow will be from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. and then again from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, we also have a really, really stunning headlining group that's coming in for this, pr uh, for this event. Uh, their name is Indigenous Enterprise, and they'll be performing throughout the day on the main stage out in the backyard. Uh, this group is a Native American collective who have critical, critical acclaims from the New York Times, from Vogue magazine, uh, for their captivating performances and stunning visual artistry. They've performed on NBC's World of Dance, at the Sydney Opera House, recently in Taiwan, I just learned, uh, and they were featured performances in President Biden's inauguration, so we're really excited to welcome Indigenous Enterprise to Wichita. Attendees uh, to their performances will be able to see a variety of really high quality, high energy, captivating dances uh, by Indigenous Enterprises, uh, including jingle dress, hoop dancing, and grass dancing. The evening will conclude at 9 p.m. with a fireworks display above the keeper and, of course, the lighting of the Ring of Fire. Again, there's no cost to attend. It's completely open and free to the public uh, to come on out. We encourage you to bring a few extra dollars, though, uh, to stop by the museum's gift shop to get some commemorative keeper merch. We've got some really exciting t-shirts and uh, hoodies to commemorate the event. Uh, and we also have a concessions area that's led by the Native Elders Council who will be selling Indian tacos throughout the day. Uh, also, the Mid-America All Indian Museum is accepting donations throughout this event and throughout the year, actually, uh, to help with the Black Bear Bosun Preservation Fund. Uh, this fund helps aim to collect and preserve the artwork of Black Bear Bosun, the man behind the Keeper of the Plains. We do want to give a big thank you and shout out to various community partners for the event, including presenting sponsor Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas, our Eagle sponsors Evergy, the Kansas Department of Commerce, and the Kansas Health Foundation. Uh, we also want to thank our Keeper Kids Zone sponsor, Fidelity Bank, and to our additional sponsors, the Wichita Foundation, the Chickasaw Nation, Donlinger Construction, Southern Star, Cargill, Barry Foundation, and Visit Wichita. Uh, as you may have heard, we're having some te technical difficulties with our websites this week. Uh, so if you're trying to visit the Indian Museum website, we really encourage you to go to social media to follow the museum and the city of Wichita to get up-to-date information about the event this weekend. Uh, but we hope to see you there. Thank